they taste a bit like man. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Jay. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're well. I know it's uh, October sometime, but I'm not sure when in October it is. I don't know if it's the 23rd, 24th, or whatever. I don't know. We are on the bike. That's the important thing. I looked at the weather this morning. It said it wasn't going to rain. Roads are really greasy though, because it was raining last night. But with that, uh, what do you call it? Precipitation. That rain that gets you really wet. <laughs> So it's uh, nine o'clock in the morning and I am actually a bit late. I've got um, a problem with the battery on the bike. I need a new battery. I'm just heading over obviously for breakfast because it's, uh, it's morning and that's what we do. And I'm meeting up with uh, PP and Richie Vida this morning. It's a Saturday morning and we're meeting up at Cafe 19, which is uh, the only place I can sort of describe that is Stony Middleton. I think I'm about half an hour late, which is really not good. I'm hoping it's not too late by the time I get there. So, so just while I've got you, what, what's your thoughts on, obviously, on biking during this weather? Uh, it's not it's not actually icy yet. Uh, it's not even that cold. But you know, some of these days are the best for riding. So what, what do you guys do? What? Uh, how many of you have put your bikes away? Do you guys... And, and do you know what's interesting for me is when you put your bike away for winter, do you just decide a date or does the weather just factor it in because those who decide a date what do you do if I don't know we have an Indian summer and the weather just stays fine and mild until the end of October I don't think probably that would really happen but what what do you guys do do you do you just wait for the weather and just keep riding as long as you can I'm guessing there's going to be a mix of people that do different things so you're probably going to ride as long as you can and then there's probably the other ones that think, no, that's it. Once it gets to a certain time of year, that's it, bikes going away. Especially with the, you know, your pride and joys like your classic bikes and uh, your prized possessions, sports bikes, things like that. I get it. I get it. But yeah, just chuck me a, chuck me a comment, tell me what you do. I'll tell you what I would, uh, I'm, I'm going to do as well. I'm going to do some of them, uh, I've mentioned it before, some of them garage sessions again where ask me anything and I think a good one I think last time it was just like sort of ask me things about bikes and stuff like that but what would be good is if you asked sort of my my opinion on things um, you know like what do I think of this what do I think of that would you do this would you do that you know you know what I mean the sort of questions so if all you guys want to send a question in I'm not saying it's something I'm gonna do soon um, but obviously any questions sent in on the back of this video this video only no none others because um, it's easy to to filter them out but yeah just send me a question and if I get again like last time if I get enough questions then we'll do a we'll do a bit of a, a Q&A session I know there was a, a few people that said they like that so um, and I really enjoy doing that to be fair so if, if any of you are up for that again just just let me know um, just send me a question that'd be brilliant and I will just acknowledge you whether it's just a thumbs up or something like that I'll just acknowledge you and uh, we'll get that question in with a set of questions and then when we get enough we'll do the uh, the Q&A session thing so that'd be quite good so if you want to participate in that that'd be absolutely fantastic and thank you so much to all the ones that participated in the last one that was brilliant look at that place there lovely I've just done a firmware update for the uh, DJI 5s as well, but obviously you know I'm running the two 5s now, and one of the biggest issues on it was the bitrate. The bitrate wasn't, I, I don't know all the technical stuff, if you understand bitrates, basically it's your quality. Um, that's been improved. The last one that they had, it was, well, the, when I first got these cameras, apparently it was lower than what the 4 was, which was uh, a bit odd. So they've obviously compromised something there, aren't they? but after a few sort of complaints which DJI I think are pretty good like that if, if, if a lot of people sort of go back with suggestions and stuff like that they do actually act on it and, I, and I've, uh, I've known that quite a few times so that's, it's really good that how they do that what a glorious day 
it really is the only thing now we've got to watch out for because that's the other thing as well as talking about weather earlier you've got to look out for the leaves haven't you leaves everywhere especially wet leaves they're uh, a big no-no as far as two wheels are concerned so just got to be super careful and i think when you it's, it's like ice and stuff like that you've just got to treat leaves as, as ice and stuff if you end up going through some you've got to try and uh, engine brake rather than panicking and hitting the uh, the foot brake the back brake definitely don't want to be hitting the front brake so yeah just let me know um what you do with your bikes over winter do you use that as an opportunity to get them serviced and stuff like that because i know that <clears throat> I know that a lot of people service their own bikes I mean I do certain stuff or I have done in the past but on newer bikes I tend to book them in for a service but I'm not going to put it in for us like this I'm not going to put this in for a service until it's ready for a service but it doesn't matter with me because I ride the bike pretty much all year round anyway you do get them gnarly times don't you when it's like proper proper icy proper cold then I'm, I just like because of the roads I ride I tend to then go to more main roads and that's more for events if you're meeting people and stuff like that not just really going for little bumbles round going off the edge there just set that nice and steady <laughs> good for the video though wasn't it I'll always ride a to my capability which is uh, the most important thing secondly to the conditions of the road which is uh, which is what you've got to do aren't you you've got to be careful when you come over this bit here because you do get uh, peacocks like that one there Trying to sort my camera. I've got a vest. I've got a vest on you. It's trapped behind the uh, A board. <laughs> I had to get on the bike. I get off the bike the other way. I haven't got my gloves on. <laughs> no pressure. Why don't you just move the A board a bit? Well, I could. Do you know what? That's why you're in the position you're in, and I'm in the position I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I'm gonna. I, I could get off that way, but I couldn't get on. <laughs> yeah. I used to live in an old barn conversion that was stone like that. Yeah. You know, with like three foot thick walls. Yeah. That was in uh, when I lived in Home Firth. The only thing with them sort of houses are they're quite small inside and that you feel closed in. What did you say on the side there? It says no entry. <laughs> I don't think that's images. Oh, I, think, I, think we'll loop, I think we'll loop back down to where we've just come from. Don't we just set them chains off so we can ride up. <laughs> Stop. 
Stone Edward. Let's go and have a look then. Good <coughs> night time when the stars are out, it's <coughs> feeling peaceful. It is quiet. It is quiet. Oh, oh look at this. That's why he stopped one. I, I need one of them as well. <laughs> I wonder if I stood in the middle here, I'd be able to reach every one of them seats. <laughs> you want somebody walk up now? Go look at that for a view. That's it. Somebody's going to have some nice tasting uh, blackberries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the thing, the, the thing is, you see, you, you should know this that you only pick the top ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they taste a bit like man. <laughs> <laughs> <Man -breed>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually had my camera on then as well. <laughs> I didn't have the macro setting, so we'll be all right. What's this then? Just a, a random rock. I'd think that got there. Do you think it fell out of the sky? <laughs> Oh yeah, like it's been lifted into place. Yeah. Either that, you've had a mole with super sharp claws. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so it gives you all the. Ah, oh, that's what it is. I have seen. I've heard of this before. Yeah. Precious. Where's the big dipper then? I'm trying my hardest not to get you on camera, but you just keep walking in front of it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to use you as you've been on my channel. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like it's not about that, Rich. It's about meeting you, meeting you for a coffee and <laughs> celestial North Pole. I know, amateur. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. There's only two second delay as well. <laughs> yeah. That's two second delay as well. Mate, that's, as well. Mate, that's a story in my life. Two second delay. He's been zapped up by the spooky storm disc. How can it close? This site is open eight till ten. Not close, can it? Not really. Maybe they stick a security guard on at night. Uh, that's, that'll take you back down to Matlock. Yeah. Jay? Yeah, yeah. Go left there, just keep following it. Yeah. Turn left at the bottom of the cockpit, takes you to Matlock. Yeah. Or go straight over this way, road here, and it'll take you to the A dirty Yeah, that's a bit out of my way, that, so I might turn left here, mate. Yeah. Alright, Pam. Right, nice one. Well, I'm going to go straight over anyway, so. Yep. Yeah. What are you doing, PP? I'm going, Jay. Yep. Yeah. Thank All you. Right, boys. Thank you, Rich. No worries, thanks, thank you. I'll see you both soon. Yeah. Thank you. Take care, mate. Steady lads. Yep. See you, see you later. See you later, Paul. Bye bye. So right, what a fantastic day. Went went down to meet Rich this morning. Um ended up uh, Ended up at the calf, and I was quite surprised when he said he didn't want anything to eat. And I'm sat there thinking, nah, yeah, I'll be fine. I, I, you know, I'm not. I'll just stick with the coffee and stuff. And then the menu fell into my lap, and uh, I saw the bacon sandwiches. So I says, three bacon sandwiches, and lads. <laughs> and he blames me every time. He, he says it's my fault that he's got to. Uh, He's eaten <laughs> more than he should be. It's not my. It's not nothing to do with me. And then, uh, yeah, so yeah, we had a good chat in there. And then we went for a ride over to Worksworth and had a scone up there because I know uh, Rich is quite partial to a scone. Good to see PP as well. Good to see you, mate. Nice, nice little ride back as well. Cheers for that. Definitely arranged something. Um, go on a. 
have a day out somewhere um, and a ride round or something, meat for breakfast again. So um, it's always it's always good into you know when you get when you're in these sort of like little communities, which I believe uh, YouTube does create. You meet up and it's like like-minded people, isn't it? So you've got things to talk about, you've got a lot in common, and it, and it's just good and it's just about having the crack and enjoying the bike it's not just all about riding the bike it's the camaraderie that comes with that as well and it's, it's just brilliant i just love it but yeah we went over there and had a, had a scone and we went up to this um, i can't remember what it was called now it's it was some uh, celestial thing where it showed you all the stars and stuff it's like a gathering point but it was quite interesting and then we just just headed back so uh, pp was behind me most of the way he just turned off up the snake now i believe the snake pass is now open um so it was closed until the 25th of october from the 14th following on from what phil had said on my motor saying it was closed i don't know how long it's uh, going to be open for i don't know if uh, it's going to be closed again so they can do some works so and if it's going to be closed permanently no, nobody actually knows but uh, it'd be a shame because it is going to push the traffic elsewhere but yeah, so just to finish this video off, because I haven't got much battery, this is the, uh, all this video is actually on one battery on uh, both cameras. That one's saying 10% now, so it's not going to have much left. I'm not sure how much the one on my chin's got. But there was, uh, I couldn't really record everything because I flipping didn't charge my wireless mic, did I? And I didn't have my adapter for my camera either, so... But look how the data turned out now to say how it was this morning it was cold this morning it was a bit wet i knew it wasn't going to rain but the roads were damp especially on here when it's covered with trees and it's turned out really nice hasn't it but yeah so as i was saying this morning just leave me a comment just tell me what you do with your bike in winter and is it because uh, you don't want to ride the bike because you fit in fear of uh, sort of not feeling like you're not looking after it if you're taking it out in bad weather and stuff like that it might even be your pride and joy where you're not good i mean i wouldn't do that if i had a classic bike or something or really expensive something like a ducati or something like that i, I don't I, I wouldn't i wouldn't take it out but i would definitely have to have another bike so let me know what you do if you've got a couple of bikes and you, you just put one away and then ride the other all the way through then yeah fair game because that's what i would do but yeah you just you've just got to keep your wits about you haven't you But winter riding, like I would say, or autumn riding, it can be so much fun. I mean, like, look at look at today. Look how nice it is today. Let me know about the Q and A session as well. If you want to see another Q and A session, like I said, I did enjoy doing that. And uh, when it gets too bad, like I say, I ride all year round. But when the snow starts falling and the ice starts forming, then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna purposely come out. Um, but I will try and work round it and I will be getting out, but just not as much really. So, uh, but yeah, let me know. And uh, I'll do one of the um, the garage sort of like uh, Q&A sessions again. I've even thought about doing a live. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think, would you uh, participate in a live? Because obviously with a live, it's live, isn't it? So uh, it's not going to be edited or anything. It's just going to be be what it is. But it'd be good if you could get people on and, and have that interaction because that's what the channel's about. For me, uh, building that community, I've got a small community, but uh, building that community and uh, everyone just getting along, everyone having a good time and everyone enjoying life. That's what it's all about. So I hope you've enjoyed this, this one, guys, and uh, I shall see you on the next one. But remember, guys, it doesn't matter who you are, what you ride or where you're from because every day is an adventure. Crazy out.